Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Norbert here. Welcome to another beautiful day. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Sony RX-0 2. This one's an interesting one. Sony are marketing it as an action cam. And sure, it has pretty impressive specs. A flip out screen, 15 megapixel sensor, water and dust resistance, obviously it's a must. You know all the stuff you'd expect from an action cam but here's the thing it sells for 700 dollars and for that kind of money i'm not sure you'd want to use it as an action cam i don't think you'd want to mount it on your surfboard risk losing it at the bottom of an ocean for that kind of money with a gopro sure you know you could lose it and wouldn't hurt that much and also that flip out screen while it's useful for selfies it's actually it feels like an achilles heel to me for this device because what happens when you break it on a wave or mount it on the handlebars of your bike and it breaks or you fall while it's mounted to your wrist or something and it breaks $700 could get you a lot in fact for $700 you could get either a Canon T7i or a couple of GoPros um, it could be older models or or the silver or the white version but still two GoPros for the price of one RX so but then again, I don't think Sony is marketing this towards the outdoorsy person, the person who does extreme sports. I think this is more marketed towards vloggers. Usually vloggers have this ginormous rig they have to carry on. Everyone wants to shoot in 4K and they have to you know, deal with the consequences of that. You can either shoot on your phone or a huge mirrorless or DSLR. But with this though, I think it wouldn't be too hard to persuade quite a number of vloggers to switch to this instead. We've already seen this being done before in the form of the Osmo Pocket from DJI. I think this is a new trend that's coming up and expect to see quite a few more cameras of the sort from more manufacturers. If there was a reason for me to buy this camera, it would be for the 1000 FPS slow-mo. Usually your smartphone will go up to 5, 4, 400, 500 FPS, uh, 120 is pretty standard on a lot of cameras. But if you want to do 1000 FPS, the Galaxy S9, S10 does do that, but only for a fraction of a second. And it's pretty much unusable in less than perfect lighting conditions. And if you want a true 1000 FPS camera, you're gonna have to shell out quite a bit of money. But for $700, this does seem like the bargain of the century if you if shooting in super slow-mo is your thing anyways guys that those are my thoughts on the sony rx02 hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe um be sure to turn on the notification bell for when i post another video and i'll see you on wednesday